I'm with Nala Alkaja, Emirati Film Director. Nala, congratulations. I hear you've got two films at DIFF this year? Yes, I do. Yes. So basically, um, I was commissioned to uh, direct two films, one with Doha Film Institute, and it's called Three. And it's screening at um, in a section called Gulf Voices. And then I have another um, film called The Neighbor, and that's screening in Mohar Emirati. It's an official selection in the competition. And both are um, both are world premieres. So I'm really, really excited that it's the 10th year of the Dubai International Film Festival. And on the 10th year, I have two films, which I've never done before. And I want to say that my relationship with the festival goes on many, many different levels. Last year, I was jury member. Um, we also started a film club with them in 2007. It's been running from 80 members to 7,000 members this year. So it's really, really exciting that we're doing that. Um, you know, been involved with many seminars, workshops, so it's not just a festival where you go and watch films, but it's an ongoing relationship from Jan to December, and it's definitely like a tight marriage. When I graduated, I had my graduate uh, my graduation film at the festival when they first inaugurated it, and I gave the, um, I read some of the opening speech on stage, so it's a very um, emotional journey, like I'm so involved with death. You have some projects in the pipeline, and you are in the process of signing on some producers, is that correct? Uh, I have, is something I have you can one talk about? project, yeah. which is actually, which you'll see at the festival, the film 3, it's only 10 minutes, yeah. but it's almost like a teaser to my feature film, it's the same theme, it's the same topic. Right. And do you have any producers lined up? Or yes, I have John Charles um, in France, and I have Joe Thomas from Australia, and I'm looking for an Arab as well, so I would have a nice mix of actually an Asian, a Caucasian, and an Arab, <laughs> so that we, you know, it's, it's cool to have different perspectives, but each one has his strength in, uh, in, the, in different aspects of producing. Right. So, for example, John Charles is like a, used to be a banker, and his forte would be like the financial side of the filmmaking. Um, Joe here, as we can see him, Joe Thomas here, is more on the creative side of uh, producing. So each one of them brings a different strength, but that doesn't matter. What, what, what is so important to me personally is the story. If I can get a story where I feel very passionate about and it's a tight script, then that's when I'm going to start production. When people ask me, like, how come you haven't done any feature film yet? I don't think we should rush into it. You know, it's, it's a very long procedure. And I think if someone's going to put two years of their life, might as well do it right. Absolutely. Yeah. Now that Dubai has created that ecosystem, do you see filmmakers actually taking advantage of it? Definitely. I mean, there's way, way more opportunity. I mean, it's gone through like a huge metamorphosis since it started because now we have like institutions where you can study, you can go on field and work on film sets. Um, there are grants, you know, whether it's like given by festivals or government grants where you can access money. Private investors, private corporations, they're more aware and conscious of the film culture. So there's way more film culture and it's easier to tap into funds when it comes to money and it's more easier to tap into like education or other aspects of the film industry, you know, whether it's like um, accessing personnel or equipment and whatnot where in the past those elements were missing and so basically what I'm saying in essence as a producer from a producer point of view it is today cheaper for me to make a film here than it used to be because in the past I would have to bring in um, people from abroad where I don't have to do that now because we have the expertise here. Yeah. Um, I just think with the new technology, being the brand ambassador of Canon, I always mention them because honestly, it's not just about you know marketing. It's simply the fact that I do. I'm in love with the brand, and they have been very, very supportive, especially with community and schools, which is very important. But I think today, like young filmmakers, can access equipment where we couldn't, and that just slices off your budget by yeah, a lot. Absolutely. And I know that they're definitely way more interested in people helping you make helping you make a film than it used to be in the past. So no excuses. Just go out and make a film.